It's kerosene heater. First thing I do, my water just flow. So I actually don't do that. I don't know why I always flow sometimes, sometimes it don't. Here it tells you how many hours of burn time you got. So that four, this thing should burn for over 40 hours. Dropping spot. I call it the sweet spot that we got it. Make sure that's locked. <sighs> okay, next. It tells us on here. Let me see if I can catch it. Opening door when lighting. If the wick lights, release igniter handle and move handle to burn from left to right. Check burn position. Incorrect position will cause smoking. So what I do is I turn this up. I see it burning real good up in there. I let this go. That's how she begin to look. She begin to burn. Then I shut this door. So I shut that door. I go ahead and I normally let it heat up real nice. Then I go ahead and set my temperature where I want it at. When I'm done and I don't want to use it no more, they have a switch right here. You hit that switch and that manually shuts off the device. I normally place mine under my ceiling fan because I like to keep this circulating. Nothing around it. Space is all empty. There you have it, guys. That's how you light your kerosene heater. I think it's warm. I feel that thing already. It's real warm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have a good one.